We are here with Rose Holman men's cross country coach Jeff Waiton, coach of the defending conference championship team, as we prepare for this week's meet at the Laverne Gibson Championship course. And coach, as you look ahead to the HCAC men's cross country championship, how exciting is it for the conference to be able to compete on a course such as this? Well, it's, it's uh, certainly very unique. Uh, the Laverne Gibson Championship cross country course, uh, we, we take a lot of pride in it. it was, Built by a uh, gentleman named Greg Gibson, who's in our cross country, or he's in our athletics hall of fame. But he was a great cross country runner here, and uh, certainly uh, understood the value of uh, what it takes to, to have a great facility. And uh, so our athletes take a lot of pride in the fact that Greg, you know, built this course, and him being a Rose grad, it's part of our athletics tour here, um, where we we bring him by the hall of fame pictures and kind of explain the history of the uh, Laverne Gibson Championship course. So uh, we haven't had this opportunity because conference uh, generally falls on the state meet weekend. And um, fortunately for Terre Haute, the state meet uh, has been in Terre Haute for a long time now. And uh, so previously we didn't have this opportunity. Uh, a couple years ago, um, uh, there was some agreement uh, among our colleagues that we could host on Sunday. And we decided to go ahead and uh, and take advantage of that and uh, we're just very excited we're, we're again sometimes you, you you go onto a road to a course that may not host any meet for 10 years you know between the, the rotation um, so the, the Laverne Gibson championship course has already had geez probably eight high-level competitions this year so it's primed and ready for the state meet and we'll kind of uh, fall in on the, on the coattails of uh, you know probably Year in and year out, uh, the state meet sees more fans than uh, any other meet throughout the year. So we'll follow on the, the coattails of a great championship weekend, and uh, we're just very excited. And on the men's side, what kind of a meet should we see this weekend? You know, more more than any year, for whatever reason, this year I have not. It's not that I'm not paying attention to our competitors. It's just outside my control. And um, we, we haven't spoken much about uh, who even we're, we're keying off of. Um, we've just focused this year on what we can do uh, to, to make ourselves ready and, uh, and uh, hold ourselves accountable and each other accountable. And uh, so it, it's earlier in the year, you know, Coach Cole and I looked and it could be a tight team race, uh, you know, with Manchester and Earlham. You know, we've kind of we've kind of glanced their way at times, but it's ultimately it, it comes down to taking care of business uh, on that day and uh, preparing you know to be mentally ready and uh, and and being in the best shape possible. Our our, our men have worked harder and more consistent um, than any team we've had probably since 2014, and uh, so. Uh, right now it's about controlling emotions and uh, and just kind of doing the same things week in and week out. For instance, yesterday, Tuesday before the meet, especially this year because the meet's on Sunday, we get an extra day, but we work pretty hard. And uh, But also thematically we're going to you know, stick with the same week that we've, we've been uh, working them through you know, for the past nine weeks. So uh, this week should feel the same and uh, it's just another another competition, another opportunity for other people to push you to excel, and uh, very excited. Good luck, Coach. Thank you.